Hello YouTube, NB998 here, and welcome back to a new video. This time we're going to be checking out Exodiac, a shooter game in the same style as Space Harrier and Star Fox that I was gifted a key for by the developers. Big thanks to them. Uh, this is for review purposes, but I felt like we could just check it out together, do like a first impressions kind of thing. So let us get into it. I already messed with the audio and everything. And I did, just forewarning, I did play the first level. I got a C rank, as you can see. But we're going to replay it. And yeah, just go from there. So as I said, this game's very much a love letter or spiritual successor to games like Space Harrier and Star Fox, which... I played a little bit of Space Harrier uh, through the, funny enough, through the uh, Yakuza games in the arcades. Uh, I never really played Space Harrier. Nope. Died there. Um, never really played Space Harrier except for Yakuza Arcade. And I was never really a Star Fox guy. I kind of, um, well, I played the only two Star Fox games I played were Star Fox Adventures and Star Fox Assault, which were both the GameCube games. And both those games, well, Assault had missions kind of like this, but Star Fox Adventures did not. And that's the one I probably played more often. So I'm not necessarily well versed in games like this, but I get the gist of it, obviously, you know, shoot the enemies on screen, try to rack up score, try not to get hit. Okay, so, whoa, didn't mean to do that. But yeah, pretty much just shoot these alien-esque things. Gain score, make sure you don't die. It's also a missile, which I haven't been using. And yeah, I should probably use that. And I missed, amazing. And I am doing awful. Absolutely awful. There we go, that hit. And as you can see, the art style is very uh, old school. Very arcade-like, I would say. Probably late 90s, early 2000s graphics. Maybe N64. Oh, we got up to our first boss here. Ooh, a giant scorpion, okay. So, my guess is you just gotta hit the, uh... The glowing bits on him, it looks like I was correct. Can't use my missiles, which is unfortunate. I should also mention, I don't think I mentioned this, I am using controller, but it is mouse and... You can use mouse and keyboard. But I just felt like this game would be easier off with a controller. Got all these real quick. I wonder if you can shoot those, actually. No, you cannot. Okay. Those are purely dodging. Ow. Alright. He's almost dead here. There we go, nice. And as you can see by the dialogue at the bottom of the screen throughout that, there is a little bit of story. It's very old school arcade in terms of there's a main bad guy and you're just fighting through his minions. Uh, nothing super in-depth, just very classic. D-rank I got even worse than my first attempt. Okay. Oh well. Let's move on. Move on to the second level. Now, like I said, before I did it that last attempt, I did play that first level before, just to make sure the game was working. But I have never played the next one, so this is going to be a first look for both you guys and myself. Okay, so like a ice level, nice. Ooh, blow up the trees. Can I blow up the rocks? No. The music's very good too. If you guys can hear that. It's 
Especially on this level, very happy-go-lucky, I would say. Not sure if blowing up those trees is giving me a score or not, or if that's just from the previous enemy. Ooh, lava? What? And I can't attack that. Alright, so this is gonna be a dodge. Got my shield refresh there. Oh, this guy is... Oh, nice. Okay. I didn't think that was gonna hit, to be honest. Okay, I don't even know why I shot off that rocket. Wasn't even aiming at anything. I can kill that. What are these, snowmobiles? <laughs> enemies got snowmobile enemies. Minions, I should say. Oh. Nice. There was extra life there, but I didn't pick it up. Kind of a little too late for that. Low frequency seismic activity. Okay, so we got something coming up here. Yep, the boss. Oh, a giant snake? Alright, so the bosses seem pretty straightforward. It's just shoot the glowy bits while trying to avoid their attacks. Oh, I see how those work. Okay. Ah. For some reason, I thought the Y button was to shoot the rocket, but that's the boost. Yeah, this guy is kicking my butt right now. I am probably going to die here. It's our first life. Yep. Darn. Oh, okay. I, to be honest, I thought it would just respawn me right there, but it looks like we gotta do the boss fight over again. But that's fine. We can do that. Do as much damage as I can on this rocket bit. Because to be fair, this rocket bit's not too difficult to dodge those. I think I got all those little orb bits. Yeah, I think we just gotta focus on the head now. Could I guess it opens up? Yep. I am scared of that beam. Yep. Ow. Ah, oh, he's almost at literally his health bar zero. I probably just have to hit him once here. Is one tap. Yep, there we go. Awesome. And that is level two complete. All right, let's see what our results were for that one. C rank, okay, I'll take it. So you, I'm gonna guess to probably A rank or S rank this, you're gonna have to kill everything and probably do a quick boss fight. So there's definitely a learning curve to this. You could get pretty good scores if you perfect it. All right, level three. Now, one thing I should mention before I move on, this game is still in early access. It's at 0 0.6, version 0 0.6 at the time of playing this at the moment. They are adding things pretty frequently. They are promoting the game. Uh, last time I actually saw it and what brought my attention to it was actually the completionist did a charity event where they showed off a bunch of indie games and this was one of them and brought my attention to it and why I wanted to reach out for a review code. So once again, thank you to the developer for the review code. Um, I will be showing off the Steam page at the end of this video if you guys want to check that out. Um, show off the price and the developer and where you can get it. But for now, let's continue to the Cleides Belt. I think I'm saying that right. All right, so yeah, this is very already reminiscent of, in Star Fox Adventures at least, uh, there's like segments where in between planets where you'd play this kind of level where it was an asteroid belt. So this is already reminding me of Star Fox 64, or Star Fox 64, Star Fox Adventures on the GameCube. I'm surprised I'm seeing some of these enemies out here. 
very pixelated. Did I hit me? Yeah, I did. Okay. It's like, what are those? <laughs> I'm missing every shot. Wow. Right, this guy's a little annoying. I had a feeling that missile wasn't really going to be working out for me. <laughs> there we go. Finally got him. We got a repair. Nice. Back to full HP. That somehow worked in my favor. Alright, boss number three. Oh. Okay. Alright, so once again, just like the other bosses, you just shoot these glowy bits. Oh, his attacks. Scary. Because now you're turning. Oh. Gotta dodge all these asteroids. Ah. There we go. I wish I had that rocket. Or missile, I should say. He got way too close for comfort there. Okay, so how are you supposed to dodge that? <laughs> oh, this guy is hurting. Or sh I should say I'm hurting from this guy. Okay, so you can dodge that. For some reason, I didn't think you could dodge it that first time. He's so close to dead. Oh well. Oh, let's do it again. This time, it, that's the one thing that I kind of like, because every time you die, it kind of restocks everything for you, so you have an easier time the next go. Man, those, those glowing orbs, that is rough. Whoa! Okay, I didn't know just shooting one of those would take him down to that much. Okay. Oop, he's almost dead already, just from those rockets. There we go, got him. Awesome. So I wonder if the uh, strat for this is actually just save up your rockets for the boss fight. Alright, B-ranked to that one, awesome. Right, let's move on to the fourth level. Epiphos? I think that's how you say that. Level four. All right, desert level. It looked in like the uh, variety of level design. Like the first one was very straightforward, like planes with you know windmills and everything. Then the second one was ice level. Third one was an asteroid belt. And now we're in a desert, so it's very. There's a lot of variety. Right, checkpoint. I'm thinking those are checkpoints. I might be wrong. I can't destroy those pendulums. I was thinking you'd be able to destroy the pendulum at least. What's this? I'm really concentrating hard because I'm already almost dead. I'm trying to be careful here. This isn't even a boss, and I'm like getting my ass handed to me. Come on. This is definitely one of the most annoying bosses I've run across in this game. 
Because you can't really hit it unless it turns around a certain angle, and then at the same time it's throwing all these fireballs at you. I wonder if this is considered a mid-boss. I didn't get the warning for the boss alert, but... Yeah, I... Uh, this guy's gonna take a minute. It actually works, actually. No, I can't tell you if you're Oh, this is... Tendling. Finally! <laughs> and I missed the repair. I'm so screwed at the boss fight. Oh, I'm almost... <laughs> I am dropping the ball now. Oh, and... Yep. Yep. Why? I didn't even hit the end of the level and I died already. So this game definitely gets harder. Oh, I gotta do all that again? No! Okay. Alright, checkpoint. I'm gonna guess this is the final boss and I have no missiles. Oh, a portal? That is a giant stone head. Okay. Oh. Ah, it changes forms. That's new. Wait, is that... Are those sunglasses? Oh, it's got red eyes now. It is not happy. Okay. Okay. I don't think I'm going to make it through this, to be honest. Never mind, I got it. With a sliver of health. Got yeah, C rank. That's better than I thought I was going to get, to be honest. What's this? Oh. Space Harrier? I think I got... I think I got a... Oh, I just ran into the rock. I think this is a bonus level. I was wondering what that data disc I got during that last level was, but I think it's a uh, bonus level. I think that's what's going on here. This is very much Space Harrier. Everything up to this point was more Star Fox, but this is definitely Space Harrier. A uh, lot more hectic, but I guess for a bonus level, probably just to get bonus lives or something. So it's just get as best of a score as you can. Ah. Dying. Yeah, fun little bonus level there. I'll take it. All right, I think that's where I'm going to end it for today, folks. But before I actually leave, I wanted to show off the Steam page. Uh, big shout outs to MNKY for the review copy once again. I really appreciate it. Very great game. I really enjoyed my time with it there. And it is $9.99. It was on sale not too long ago. Um, I've seen it go down to about $7, $8. And yeah, I think I'm going to call it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.